a minute. It's not right. Listen, we got a big problem, man. I saw it. You said there wouldn't be nothing, and I, I saw it right there on the screen. Who's this? Mark Singer, lead programmer at Code E, Inc. Why are we being given a routine missing persons case? I mean, can't the locals handle this? The reason this falls in our lap is because Mark Singer had access to some of this country's most classified information. Yeah, I'm a little confused why the FBI is involved. When was the last time you saw him? Mark Singer's been skimming from the company for almost five years. I am here with Professor Leslie Stout from Cambridge University. We've just arrived from London for an engagement with Professor John Noble. You see, John Noble is not here. Not here. We've arrived, and you know where to be found. Good evening, Doctor. How did your initial meeting go? Fine. Our timing on this is crucial, and we're all aware of Stout's demeanor. He's not going to be easily convinced. Don't worry, Nate. I think I'm in control. Operation Threatcom is a go. By now, you must be wondering what is the purpose of these messages. We will display the power that we will hold over your country. This is what John Noble and I were working on before he left. It's a program to help state and local facilities deal with emergencies. Does this program have a name? Ares. What's wrong? You fool! You followed Noble down a path of madness and you didn't even realize it! What are you talking about? I'm afraid we can't have you running off just yet, Professor. What are you doing? Take your hands off me. Seems we have some things to discuss before you venture back to London. Well, I'm a little confused here. You said the last time that Mark Singer was seen here was on Monday? Yes, that's true. Then how do you explain the fact that he made a phone call from his office to Thomas Payton on Tuesday? Hey, you Thomas Payton? You have no idea what you're getting involved in. In light. Yeah, well, if I do, I die. Plain and simple. We can protect you. <laughs> sure you can. I've heard that one before. If you want to be a fool and throw your life away, don't expect us to stop. I give it 24 hours before I do. Where's the file? What file? You know those terror threat videos that have been circulating? That'll be all, Agent. What? Mr. Payton's coming with me. No, no, we're not done here yet. I don't have any interest in what you guys are doing. I did my job. I got my money. I am done with this. <laughs> Thomas, wait. You have to tell me what the code means. Do not answer that. Oh, no. Ramirez, wait. All right, we got to get the fire out of that car. I want to know who's in that car. I don't understand. What's the purpose of all this? What do you know about Project Ares? Ares is a madman's attempt at prestige and glory. Where is this virus now? We don't know exactly, but we believe Stolovich might be in possession of it. In the wrong hands, that virus can destroy communications, bring down entire networks, even worse. Start a war. My organization has been given the green light to begin the takeover of the United States. Believe me, we will be victorious.